Good morning, Mr. Fishman. Right? I hope you're fine. Welcome to this interview. Good morning, sir. Yes, I am, Mr. Fishman. And yes, I am fine. Happy to be here today. That's good. All right, let's start then. Tell me about yourself. I'm all ears. Well, I'm currently an account executive at Smith, where I handle our top performing client. Before that, I worked at an agency where I was on three different major national healthcare brands. And while I really enjoyed the work that I did, I'd love the change to dig in much deeper with one specific company, which is why I'm so excited about this opportunity with this amazing company, sir. That's interesting. And tell me, how did you hear about this position? To be honest, I heard about an opening on the executive team through a friend of a friend. And since I'm a big fan of your work, I mean this company, and have been following you for a while, I decided it would be a great role for me to apply for. This is what I have been looking for. I understand. But why do you want to work at this company? Tell me. Well, I did some reading about the new center you're building in this city. And that excites me, as I know this means there will be opportunities to meet great leaders. I also learned through a Wall Street Journal article that you're expanding in Mexico as well. I speak Spanish fluently and would be eager to step up and help this company whenever necessary. I see you have investigated a lot about this company. That's great. And you speak Spanish. That is also very important because you need to speak at least three languages. I know, sir. I speak Spanish, English, German, and Italian. I know this is important. I know that we have to meet with important leaders from different companies around the world. And that is one of the main reasons why I want to get this job, sir. It excites me. Excellent. It is important to know. What are your greatest strengths? I'd say one of my greatest strengths is bringing organization to hectic environments and implementing processes to make everyone's life easier. I did it on my previous job too. In my current role as an executive assistant to a CEO, I created new processes for pretty much everything. From scheduling meetings to planning monthly all-hands agendas to preparing for event appearances. I'd be excited to bring that same approach to this company. I'm good at organizing. I can also lead people and big work teams. I can organize my time to meet with all the clients. All right. And what do you consider to be your weaknesses? Well, I can have trouble asking for help because I am independent and enjoy working quickly. It has been difficult for me to ask for help when I need it. That's the thing. 
I have learned that it is much more beneficial both for me and the business to reach out when I do not understand something or feel burned out with my workload. I also understand that many experts around me have a specific knowledge and skills that can make my work better. While I am still working on it, I have been able to produce more high-quality work. As a result of getting help from those around me, as I told you before, I'm still working on it. I understand. What is your greatest professional achievement? My greatest accomplishment was when I helped the company I was working for to get one of their more important clients. I had planned that meeting for months. I had to investigate about that client. I found valuable information and made a presentation. And because I could convince him, the company grew considerably. That sounds great. Tell me about a challenge or conflict you faced at work and how you dealt with it. Two years ago, I had an important meeting with a client. It was going to be a million dollar deal. We prepared that presentation for months, but we couldn't make it. He had a better offer. I was very affected that I couldn't convince that client to agree to join the company. I was so affected that I became depressed and couldn't get over it for a while. I was sure everything was perfect, I mean, the presentation, but he didn't like it. Well, thanks to that, I understood something very important. We can't always win. Sometimes we will fail at doing some things, and that is a vital part of improving your performance. I learned a lot of things thanks to that, and I still don't let defeats affect me so much. Well, that's true. We can try to do our best, but we can't always win. That's correct. Now, I need to know something. Have you ever been fired? No, sir. I have never been fired. Well, once, when I was a teenager. I worked for a store, but the owner's nephew arrived from other country, and he replaced me. I understand. Now, how would your boss and co-workers describe you? Actually, in my most recent performance review in April, my direct supervisor described me as someone who takes initiative and doesn't shy away from hard problems. That's what he said. And in that report, my co-workers also wrote similar things about me. I was so happy to read it. All right. And what are your salary expectations? How much would you like to earn? Well, according to the current job market, I am requesting $5,000 per month, plus benefits. Hmm. Well, we will discuss about it later. For the moment... Congratulations! You've passed this interview successfully. Well done. Seriously? Oh, 
Thank you very much. Then what do I have to do now? You will have a final interview with the company's owner. And that's it. I will let you know when and what time it will be. Do you also want to watch it? Tell us.